actually getting VS Code on Windows 7 right have never changed. It's just things which have moved around the platform or their website which I'm kind of guiding you within this video. So if this video is gonna be helpful enough, you can actually watch, leave a like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you. Let's begin. So you are going to find where it says get previous versions, right? Click on that one and we'll be directed to another page. So now we're going to look for a certain link which we're going to find below of this screen. So let's start scrolling and I'm going to show you where you can get the what the right version for Windows 7, right? Because it has been updated and we're not the Windows not getting any 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 what any new update but there is this was says vision 1.2 oh, 1.70 yeah the july 2020 version so we're going to actually wait for it to download right as you're going to see after it's downloaded we're going to actually open and run the program right so let me guide you through it open it then we're going to have to provide administrator a uh, privileges by clicking the what run button now you can just accept the terms and agreements and click where it says next and the rest you can just follow up yeah So if you have managed to actually reach to this part of the video, right, you have managed to actually install Visual Studio Code on your computer. If you're having errors, that means you, you kind of need to actually what, install some Windows updates. Just kind of like go under settings, update Windows, and everything will be in order. That's what I did before I ran the computer. Uh, I actually installed all the updates that is need to be. So thank you for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.